Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful sunset effect in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And I'm so excited about today's episode. We're gonna show you an awesome technique to create a beautiful sunset effect in a photo. We're gonna start off by creating a custom gradient that's actually gonna mimic the sun. We'll use a radial gradient and mask it in just where we want it to be visible. Next, we're gonna use a color balance adjustment layer to add some reds and oranges into the image really making it look like it has that sunset effect. And to finish the image off, we're gonna add some blues into the shadows, which is really gonna give it a beautiful color tone. All right, guys, let's jump into Photoshop. So this is our image for today. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful backlit portrait. Now I know it's backlit because I can zoom in and I can see the hair is lit from behind rather than from in front. So that's really important when you go about creating like an artificial sun in your image. The sun would actually have to be visible, right? If it's very obvious that the sun is coming from the opposite direction and you create one, then it's like, that's just gonna confuse whoever's looking at your image. It's like, uh, are there two suns here? So make sure the image is backlit. That way we can actually have the sun included in the image. So we're gonna start off by using our gradient tool. So let's click here on our gradient tool and then we're gonna go to our gradient editor. Just click right up here on the top left. Now with this gradient editor, it comes with a lot of cool gradients already loaded into Photoshop. We can see we've got like purple to orange, things like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a sun gradient. So let's start by clicking any one of these. You can change any one of these that you want. Okay, now the sun, we're gonna start off with a white core to our sun. So it's gonna go white and then out to orange and then out to red. So we're gonna click on our color right here. There we go, right on the bottom left. Click where it says color. Click there and then go all the way up here to the white and there we go. So now it's going white to green instead of what was red to green. All right, now we want the this side of our gradient to actually be red. So we're gonna click there on our color and we're gonna go to a nice bright red. There we go. Now we can see we're going white to red. Now that looks decent, but it doesn't look like the sun just yet. We need some orange in there. So we're gonna click right here below our slider. This is gonna allow us to add a third color in here now we're gonna go to color and we're gonna go to a really nice vibrant orange and hit okay. Cool, and there we can see it's a lot more warm. So we've got our white leading to the orange, leading to the red. And I'm actually gonna make our whites just a little bit bigger. There we go. And we're gonna kind of push that out in that direction there. Okay, so now that we've created our gradient, I'm gonna go ahead and click this new button and it's gonna save it as a gradient here in my gradient editor. Now, as a bonus, we're actually including this gradient for download on Flurn. Just follow the link in the description below to actually download this gradient. So let's hit okay here. All right, and take a look at what this actually does. So if I create a new layer, we have a couple different gradient options. First is our linear gradient. So if I go from left to the right with my linear gradient, that's what it looks like, white to orange to red, but in a really nice, like it, it's actually gradiated, means it's like it blends from one color to another. We have our radial gradient, which will do the same thing in a radius, in a, in a radius, in a round shape. We have a few other gradients as well. Okay, so it's up to you to choose the right gradient for your image. Now with the sun, it makes sense to use the radial gradient, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click on our radial gradient. Okay, now what I recommend doing is clicking right here in the center of your document and kind of clicking and going out just like that. Okay because we are gonna load a layer mask onto this document. So I'm on a new layer. I've got white to orange to red, looking good. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use my marquee tool here. We're gonna to go to an elliptical marquee and I wanna make sure that I use the shift key to make sure it's a circle that I'm selecting. And I wanna make sure that I get a circle right there around the actual gradient. Like that's gonna be our sun. So the white to orange to the red, okay? So now that we have a selection there, just click on your layer mask button right down here and it's gonna load that as a layer mask. So we got a really cool gradient here that we're going to be using as the sun. So we just created our sun. Now we need to change our blend mode to get the sun to actually blend into the image and look real. So we're going from normal on our blend mode all the way down to where we see screen. And that basically just lightens up your image. And you can see already we're getting like a really nice blending effect with our sun. 
Now, the other thing we need to do is kind of fix this edge. We have a really sharp edge there and that does not look real at all. So we're gonna click on our layer mask for the layer. We're gonna go to filter, down to blur, and over to Gaussian blur. And that's because gonna allow us to blur the edge of our sun. So basically we we'll wanna choose a radius that gives us a really nice blurred edge. That's gonna make this look a little bit more realistic. All right, there we go, something like that. Let's go out a little bit more. Cool, that looks great. So let's hit okay, okay there. And now we can kind of move this around our image. By the way, you can always make it smaller or larger. If you hit Control or Command T, you can make this smaller or larger depending on what it needs to be for your image. And you can always redo your layer mask as well. All right, I think that looks great right there. Beautiful. You can also adjust your opacity. If it's too visible, you can make it less visible but I'm gonna recommend sticking right at 100. That way the core is gonna be white. It kind of looks weird if the core is like a little bit light, like a, a light gray there. So we're gonna make our core white, making this all the way at 100. Beautiful. So now we've got our sun in the image and that part of it looks great, but the rest of the image isn't quite color matching. We need some reds and some oranges to be in the rest of our image in order to bring everything together. So we're gonna make an adjustment layer. Let's go here, I'm gonna click on my background layer we're gonna to go to our curves adjustment layer. There we go, and we're gonna use this to add some color to our image. Okay, so with our curves adjustment layer, I'm gonna to go to our red channel. There we go, click right here in the middle, and I'm gonna pull this up, adding some reds into my image. And you can see if I go way up here, it's gonna make my image completely red. Now, this isn't gonna be visible everywhere. We just wanna kind of fill, like, fade out from the sun over to the rest of the image. Okay, now let's add some green in there. That's gonna, there we go, make it a little bit like that nice orange look. All right, and we can pull our blue channel down just a little bit, giving it some of that yellow. All right, let's go ahead and close that out. So here we can see that color tones our entire image. And that looks all right, but I just wanna have it affect the area around the sun. So on my layer mask, I'm gonna hit Command I to invert my layer mask. And now we're gonna use a white paintbrush with a really soft edge just kind of feather that in and have this affect the area right around our horizon. All right, there we go. And we can see that really helps to blend it in. So we have some of that color kind of coming in to the rest of our image. Okay, that looks really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and color tone, give it that really nice sunset look. So above our little sun here, we're gonna go to an adjustment layer and I'm gonna go to color balance. All right, now here in our color balance, we're gonna go over to our highlights. I wanna put some yellows into my highlights and some reds as well. Because again, this is supposed to have that like really nice color tone look. And we wanna make sure, there we go, that the sun actually looks like it's lighting our image. Beautiful. All right, let's just turn that on and off to make sure it's actually doing what we want. Cool. And we can see about maybe reducing the opacity here just a little bit for this effect. So it's a little bit strong. And you can always change the opacity of any of these at, at any point in time. You don't have to stick with it exactly how it is to start. All right, there we go, looking good. And by the way, also, if you want to go ahead and move your sun around while you're here, you can do so. If it's covering too much of your subject's face, something like that, you can always do at any point in time. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hit Command T, make this a little bit smaller, because I do wanna kinda have it coming right from behind her hair, but I don't want that red to affect her face so much. So there we go, just a little bit smaller. Make sure to bring it nice and high. You, again, you don't want it to be below the horizon, right? That would not make any sense. All right, there we go, that looks beautiful. And with our color balance adjustment layer, it's really bringing the image together. All right, I'm gonna add, with our curves adjustment layer, I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. So we're gonna go to our blue channel and I'm gonna pull that down just a little bit more. All right, looking great guys. So let's go ahead and show you the before and the after with that. I'm gonna shift click all these layers, group them together, and we're gonna show you, here's our before and the after. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing you can do to adjust the sun and we're gonna add some blues into the shadows. So looking at our sun, I'm like, oh man, that looks super good, except for, you know what? It's like a little bit too saturated. Like I wish it just wasn't so red and so yellow. It's just a little too much. Well, this layer is just like any other layer. 
I'm going to click on it here and then hit Control or Command U. And that's going to bring up our hue saturation. So from here, if I wanted to bring my saturation up, I can do that. I can also bring my saturation down. And this is real key to get it blending into your image. Find the right saturation that's really going to blend in with your image. There we go. And that looks great. Let's hit OK. And there's the before and the after. That saturation change just really helped blend it in with the rest of the image. All right. Now, at the very end here, I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go to solid color. And we're going to be putting some blues into the shadows of our image. So with my solid color, I'm going to choose a really nice blue right about there, nice and dark. OK. Now we're going to change our blend mode on this layer from normal down to lighten, which is kind of interesting. But basically what it does is anything that's darker than this blue, it turns into this blue. So it lightens up anything that's darker. Now, if it doesn't turn out exactly how you want it from the first go, just double click here and you can change your color. I can make this a little bit lighter blue. We can see that's a little bit stronger in effect. We can change our saturation as well. And it's a real time update of what's going on in our image. So it's really easy to color tone your image this way. You could totally change it. If you wanted green in your shadows, you could do that too. But I really like the orange and the blue look. I think it's a real classic look that benefits this image pretty pretty well. All right. Very cool. And let's just turn that off and on so we can see how that color tones our image. And maybe I'll bring my opacity down just a little bit. All right. Adjust our opacity a little bit more, and we're good to go. All right, guys. Let's take a look at our before and after. And that's all there is to creating a beautiful sunset effect in Photoshop. Just follow these key steps. First, we want to make sure we're using a backlit image. That's an image where the sun is actually visible. Because if we're creating a sunset, we want to make sure it's lit from the right side. Next, we create a custom gradient going from white to orange to red. This is going to be our sun. We used a radial gradient to paint in the sun and then used a layer mask to make it only visible in a round area. Then we change our blending mode from normal to screen. This really makes the sun look realistic. Next, it's time to add color to the rest of our image, making it really look like the sunset is coloring the image. We used a curves adjustment layer and a color balance adjustment layer to add some reds and some yellows, giving it that beautiful orange glow. And finally, we added some blues into the shadows by creating a solid color adjustment layer, selecting a nice blue color, and then changing the blend mode to lighten. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and click on your screen right now to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, just leave it right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Dang, a huge bug just flew by the camera. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> cool. It's gonna be so beautiful. You're gonna really like it. Click on your screen right now. We'll send you free. La, 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 la. Cool. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and click on your screen right now to subscribe to our YouTube. YouTube, Chepa. <laughs>